So together with me is one of our undergraduate students. She's, she, she's supposed to paint for us uh, the life of an undergraduate in Dedan Kimadi. And it's pretty exciting for me. Her name is Lynette. Uh, it's pretty exciting for me because it reminds me of those days when I was an undergraduate and what I went through. Yeah, And we'd want to hear what does an undergraduate in Dedan Kimadi uh, go through? What do we have for them as uh, undergraduate students? Karibu sana, Lynette. We are glad to have you on board. Lynette is one of our students in the School of Science. Uh, she's taking actuarial. Uh, she's taking actuarial uh, in the School of Science, and she's go she's going to take us through the life or the lives uh, and times of an undergraduate student within Dedan Kemadi. What are the entertainment options available? Because we know life is not all about academics. There is that we need uh, as at Dedan Kemadi, we try to make it more of a holistic uh, experience for us. So Lynette, maybe you could tell us, I know welfare is something that is very close to the lives of the students. Uh, what is your experience like in this institution when it comes to welfare? Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, student welfare basically covers the mental, the physical, and the emotional well-being of a student. And the Directorate of the Student Welfare, headed by Dr. Esther Diga, has made it their sole purpose and mandate to cover the student welfare. So we have different offices under this welfare. We have the Guidance and Counseling Department, or office, sorry, which covers the mental health of students, which is very vital, not just in your campus life, but generally in life. We have the games and sports office, where we have different sports in the university. We have basketball, we have football, we have chess, very a variety of games and sports which will engage the students physically. <coughs> we also have the recently opened office, which is the DEFAO, the financial aid office, which has uh, several financial aid programs for students who may be needy and are, have a, are having some financial gaps that are making them not continue with their studies. So some of these financial programs are the work study program, we have university bursaries, we have subsidized meals, we have subsidized accommodation. All this is taken care of by the student welfare and the directorate in general. We also have clubs and societies. For example, we have various clubs, including um, the Rotra Club of Dekut, we have Ayaste, we have Drama Club, Kenya Model UN, all these clubs are supposed to broaden and build the student holistically and also engage them physically and incorporate them in the community. Uh, we have the different recognition awards which is usually taken care of by the students' welfare where we recognize top performing students and motivate them to do even better and motivate other students to even want to perform excellently in their academic affairs. Wow. Thank you, Lynette. Thank you. Uh, what about uh, students who are able differently? Uh, is there a way we take care of them? Oh, yes. We have an office put in place for that, the Gender and Disability Mainstreaming Office. This is basically put in place to cover the special needs for the special students uh, who are having issues, their matters. For example, uh, when we need accessibility into classrooms, we have the ramps that have been put in place around the university so you can easily access your classrooms, your facilities, your laboratories. We also have the, the special PWDs uh, washrooms, which takes care of them. And everyone has been considered in the community to participate in the Dunkimathi in general. Wow, thank you, Lynette. It okay. sounds pretty exciting. I think uh, the students are having fun around this place. Very much so. Wow. So w then what about innovation? I know we are living in an era where innovation is very key. Is there a way you feel that as a student at the court that innovation has been embraced in terms of uh, trying to ensure that the, the innovations that the students come up with are actually uh, actualized? Yeah, uh, when we talk of matters innovation, we have the Dedan Kimathi Startup Center. This has been put in place basically to uh, idealize and transform the students' ideas into commercially viable inno innovations. Uh, we also have the Dekut Science and Technology Park, which was initially launched. Uh, now that park actually, it's on the world map. Uh, after being admitted as a member into the International uh, Association of Science Parks and Areas of Innovation. So 
Dead and Kimathi is actually on the world map and it's, ide it's identified and recognized as an innovation center. Recently, our students participated in the World Skills Competition in Namibia on March 2022, where Dead and Kimathi was able and privileged to represent Kenya in the international competitions. So definitely innovation in Dead and Kimathi is a plus and considered and very much uh, engaging students in participating. Wow. Now, I, I, we, can, we probably we should also tell our viewers that they can also check that on our website because we have really elaborated all that eh? yeah. so they can get to know what kind of innovation is happening, what are we doing currently, and also what we are planning to do into the future. Yeah. yeah? So just in case you are joining us, we are live from Dedan Kemadi University of Technology, and uh, we are pretty excited to have this uh, virtual open day. And just in case you have any questions, you can go to our Facebook page. Uh, we also have have a meeting link you can be able to get it on our Facebook page and also on our website and you can post your questions there then at the end of this session we will have a, a Q&A where we're going to be answering all your questions so Lynette I know uh, students are very concerned about accommodation like I'm coming to the maybe I'm coming from the far end of the country and I also need I need accommodation I need to feel that I'm safe yeah uh, how would you paint the picture when it comes to accommodation within this institution so accommodation in this institution is in two categories you have the internal accommodation and we have the external accommodation um, the internal accommodation are the internal hostels and they're usually available at a very subsidized fee and mostly the candidates given a priority when getting this accommodation are students with financial needs and also special needs. But uh, when there is space, other students are usually also considered. We have the external hostels. They are plenty and we have so many of them in the school and around school and in towns around school. Uh, in terms of proximity, the student's welfare has put in place a plan where you can have transport to and from your hostel, just in case your hostel is a bit far from school. And this, is, this, comes, at a, this comes at a very handy price and fee, which is subsidized, because uh, if you're supposed to use public transport, this will become expensive for you. But the university considers their student, and we have transport, which is by our buses, to and from your hostels. We also have security, which has been ensured by the security department and also uh, together with the county government and the security and the police station actually around the school. So thank you, yeah. Wow, you are making me miss the campus days, Lynette. <laughs> it's, yes. It sounds pretty a good experience at this place, yeah? Yes, yes. And uh, probably we should have highlighted that as a university, we make a follow-up to ensure that uh, our students are actually accommodated in the right places. Yeah, yeah, actually that is so true. Uh, we have a committee where the external hostel owners and the university usually have a consensus concerning matters and issues and problems may be faced by the students and they are able to come to a consensus and discuss probably matters for example prices the rental fees if it's too high we subsidize them and all those other issues including the environment cleanliness security all that is factored in wow that sounds so beautiful, yeah? So uh, I also, now let's look at what brings the students to the university, the academics, yeah? Uh, maybe you could talk about uh, your interactions, how are the interactions between the students and the staff, uh, how are the facilities from the students' point of view? So matters academics, uh, personally I'm a student taking actuarial science and statistics, and I can say it firsthand that I have experienced and encountered qualified academic personnel, uh, that is a guarantee, who are dedicated and committed towards students' excellence. We also have uh, some tournaments, interdepartmental tournaments, for instance, the, science, the School of Science and the School of Engineering. They have football tournaments where they engage and interact with each other. This has encouraged and uh, nurtured the spirit of integration among the students and also diversity. We have the recognition awards, which are usually uh, there, recognizing the top performing students in each department. And this encourages and motivates other students to even do better. 
And on facilities, we have very modern facilities and infrastructure, including our library, which has the e-resources and also the physical books, where you have unlimited access to them. Uh, the library is very modern and it's within the university where it's very accessible to all schools, uh, the School of Business, the School of Science and also the School of Engineering in general. And all this I can say has made our university at the forefront of uh, performing and a world class it's headed to a world-class university in general, I'm sure. Oh, wow. Thank you, Lynette. What about internet? Uh, how, uh, how accessible is internet around oh, the university? Oh, I almost yeah. forgot. We have internet access in all the schools, over 40 hotspots around the school, very strong. And this has enabled our students to participate and do their uh, assignments on time, do their online classes on time, uh, do their projects on time, and also participate during the online um, jobs for example if you're a content creator or a youtuber you're able to access the, the the internet that is provided by the school and create your content and also make some money of it so i can say the internet in the school is very strong and this has been strengthening every day actually with the upcoming data center that is being built i believe our infrastructure will be next to maybe how it will be the silicon valley of east africa i'm sure wow that is that sounds so good eh? so and uh, probably uh, we would also uh uh, we, we, there's, there's that part of uh, uh, we also need to talk about the entertainment because as students, uh, these are young people who need to feel entertained. They need to uh, maybe participate in activities that uh, will make uh, will bring out the holistic people. I mean, people in them. So, is there anything we do in terms of entertainment in this university? Well, yes, we have a lot of entertainment activities. We have the climb to educate program, where students are able to participate in the local trips hiking around the university, uh, around the national reserves and parks. We also have the, the yearly Mr. and Miss Kimathi that usually takes place during the, the Kimathi week when we commem commemorate the, the champion Kimathi. We also have the modeling clubs where we are able to nurture the students, their talents, the, the modeling, for example, drama clubs, we have different adventures taking place. For example, the freshers bonding and integration activities, which usually take place in the Decoot Challenge course, which is an area that is specifically built for students to interact and have fun. So we have so many entertainment facilities. And also around the school, we have some facilities, some gaming hubs. We, in the school, we have the Decoot Animation and Gaming Hub where the Dedan Kimathi University students are able to participate in <coughs> gaming activities, develop some gaming uh, projects, and also make money of it. So. Wow, that sounds good. Yes. <laughs> so guys are also able to make money on the side, yeah? Yeah, people yeah? are able to make money. So you're a student and you have a side hustle. Yeah, you're a student, you have a side hustle. For example, you have a town called Bomas. It's a student center where most students are able to come up with their startups. For example, a business, a hotel, a shop. So you are able to make money, and at the same time, you're able to complete your studies at a very timely manner. So yes. Wow, you, I'm glad you mentioned that part of timely manner. Yeah. Uh, that one is very important because our students are able to complete their courses on time. Yeah. And uh, uh, probably as we come to the end of this session, what would you want to tell a student probably who has an interest in Dead and Kimad University? All I would say is do not fear your lecturers. That is one thing most students come, you're fresh from home, you're naive, you're scared. Please do not fear your lecturers or your teachers. They are here to help you and take full advantage of the opportunities within the school because Dedan Kimathi has a lot of opportunities for you to take advantage of. For example, on the IASTE, if I'm just to mention briefly, okay. uh, it's an exchange program where students are able to have an international experience outside of Africa. So you're <coughs> able to interact with other people in a cultural way and also have exposure on your career. This has been made possible by our university and not all universities have this advantage. 
So I will tell you if you're a student or you're a potential student, take advantage of that. Apply and you never know. Yeah. Thank you. That sounds pretty exciting, uh, Lynette. For sure, you made me miss those old <laughs> campus days. Well, Thank you so much, viewers. Uh, now you have an idea of what it takes, uh, the journey that a campus student travels in Dekut and what they go through. And for me, uh, you'd agree with me that it is pretty exciting. Now we've come to the end of this session and um, I, I want to remind you that we are coming to you live from Dedan Kemadi University of Technology and also welcome you to our Dekut uh, virtual open day. So you can also remember to follow us on our Facebook page and Instagram page and uh, we are also on Twitter, you can also follow us there and you can also check our website, we have an intake coming up in June and we also have an another intake coming up in September. So, and just in case I'm sure you have any questions, you can uh, post them on our Facebook page and we also have a link for a meeting. You can check that one out on our website or, or on our Facebook page. Post, post your questions there, then we'll have a Q&A at the end. We'll be able to answer all your questions. So. Coming up, we are going to look at, as a university, we are going to meet the Dean School of Business, uh, Dr. Ann Sang. Uh, she's going to take us through what, uh, how do we ensure as a university that we are able, to, whatever we teach here, uh, we are able to link the same with what is happening in the industry. So we will be right back. Thank you. <laughs>